What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Meal Prep. My name is Sonya by the way. Today we are going to make some Mediterranean turkey burgers with a nice Mediterranean salad to go along with it. Are you ready to do this? Let's get started. All right, so let's get started on this tzatziki sauce. Now it's basically just yogurt, some dill weed, garlic, and I have two tablespoons of lemon juice already squeezed in the bowl. We can go ahead and add the ingredients. Let's start with the yogurt. I get these like single serving, like 5.3 ounce containers from a grocery store called HEB. They're plain non-fat Greek yogurt. One fourth teaspoon of the dill weed. When you're using fresh herbs, you're gonna use a lot more, but when you dry it down, it's like the same consistency. So just one fourth of a teaspoon. So let's go ahead and add one garlic clove to the dill weed, lemon juice, and yogurt. I use a garlic press, so it's gonna be minced up evenly. And then just stir. All right, that's it. So I'll go ahead and put this in the refrigerator to chill, and then we can start working on the turkey burgers and the salad. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on the turkey burgers. I'm going to use 93% lean ground turkey. I already have it here in the bowl. I'm going to add some spinach to it. You could use fresh spinach or frozen. I have fresh here. If you're going to use frozen spinach, you could use about two ounces. Make sure you drain all the liquid off of it and then add it into it. So we would use about a fourth of a cup of fresh spinach chopped up. Now don't be alarmed if your burgers start turning a little bit green. Spinach is gonna do that. That's why we're not putting a whole lot in there. All right, into the bowl it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and add two cloves of garlic to the mixture. Now I'm gonna mince it. You could chop it up, but the garlic press works pretty, pretty handy. Put it in and squeeze. Use a little bit of muscle. We'll use one teaspoon of oregano. We'll use one teaspoon of black pepper. And let's use one half teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. If you know me by now, this is the only salt I use no matter what type of cuisine. I'm always going to use Himalayan pink salt. Just a half a teaspoon. Now we're going to use some cherry tomatoes. You could use sun-dried tomatoes if you want. I'm gonna use some fresh tomatoes. About, let's say, oops, almost lost one. About yay many. Let's, I'll tell you exactly how many grams that is. Exactly 100 grams of cherry tomatoes. We'll dice those up and put those in. All right, so let's go ahead and use two eggs. I'm gonna use half of a red onion and half of a white onion. That's 115 grams of red onion. That's 53 grams of white onion. All right, so we're gonna use two thirds of a cup of whole wheat breadcrumbs. Now you can use panko, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna use these. They had pretty good macros on them. Only 18 grams uh, for about a fourth of a cup. So we're gonna use two thirds of a cup. And all this is is really like a binding agent to hold the burger together, especially with all those wet ingredients. That's it, nothing left now but to get in there and mix it with your hands. All right, so this is gonna make about eight servings. So we're gonna make about eight patties. Um, with the meat, that's about five ounces with everything else. It's gonna probably weigh out to be about six ounces each. Let's go ahead and mix it up. Let's go ahead and start weighing these out. I got it mixed up pretty good. I have my scale here and I always put uh, like wax paper on my scale so I don't like raw meat touching it. We'll do about six ounces per patty, but remember, we have all those ingredients. We have the spinach, we have the onions, the tomatoes, the eggs, the breadcrumbs so is gonna make it a little bit heavier. So it's gonna be roughly about five ounces of protein uh, in each patty. All right, so I made all eight big 
patties. These, mmm. So uh, let's go ahead and over to the stove and cook them up. Now you could take these outside and grill, but if you didn't know, I live in Austin, Texas, and it's over 100 degrees, and I'm not standing over a hot grill. Just not gonna happen. In the house with air conditioning is what I'm gonna do. Got my cast iron on the stove, heat it. We're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil and get to cooking. Let's go. All right, so once you put them in the pan, leave them in there for about five minutes. Don't flip them, don't touch them. Turn it down to about medium high heat. We're gonna cook it five minutes on each side. Now remember, these are pretty thick burgers, so we wanna cook them to an internal temperature about 165 degrees. I'll see you in five minutes when it's time to flip them. All right, it's been about five minutes. Let's go ahead and flip them. There is nothing like a cast iron to get a good, woo! on that baby. All right, so I just took all the burgers off. They came out amazing, look at them. Now I did cut one open and try one because you know I just couldn't resist. I'm telling you that was a tender, juicy turkey burger. It was not dried out. People say that, you know, 93% lean turkey is dry. <laughs> not these burgers, not at all. All right, let's get started on that salad right here. I've got a bag of already chopped hearts of romaine. This is roughly 10 ounces. Then I have 150 grams of olives. I have 75 of these black medium sized pitted olives and then 75 grams of these manzella olives. Hot olives. <laughs> yeah, stuffed manzella olives. They're stuffed with that pimento stuff. I don't know, but that's what we got. All right, 150 grams going in. Does it already look Mediterranean, folks? All right, I'm gonna put this to the side because we got some chopping to do. Remember that other half of that red onion? It's 115 grams of red onion. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that up. All right. In the salad to go. And then I have the other half of the cherry tomatoes. 188 grams is going into the salad. Now I can leave these whole or you can cut them. It's your personal choice. I'm gonna leave them whole. That way when the salad sits for a day or two, it doesn't become too wilted. Then I've got a little bit of red pepper. 63 grams of red pepper. salad it goes looking very colorful and then I have some green bell pepper and we're using 51 grams of green bell pepper I'm giving you accurate measurements folks all right the cucumber we're gonna slice that and keep that as like a, like you can dip it into your tzatziki sauce or something like that that'd be great We're using 290 grams of cucumbers. So basically just one large cucumber. All right, so that's pretty much everything for the food wise. Now let's go ahead and make our salad dressing. Now you can go ahead and buy your own Greek salad dressing or Mediterranean style. Um, I actually don't have any in the house. I thought I did, so now I gotta make one. So let's do that. Put this to the side, clean up a little bit, and I'll be back in a second. All right, let's go ahead and make this dressing real quick. So we'll use one cup of extra virgin olive oil. We'll use one tablespoon of mustard. Now, normally we use Dijon. I just don't have any in the house, so this is what it is. But if you have Dijon, use that one instead. And we'll use one tablespoon of honey. Put in my um, teaspoon though. Hold on one second. We're gonna use two teaspoons of dried basil. One teaspoon of oregano. A half a teaspoon of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna use two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. All 
All right, let's use two cloves of garlic. We'll use some zest of a lemon. I like that fresh taste. And then we'll go ahead and cut the same lemon in half and juice it. Roll it a little bit first. Get all that juice releasing. All right, let's go ahead and mix this up. Let's give it a little taste test. My hands are clean. Oh, that's, that's on point. All right, let's go ahead and put this together. And time to eat. Let's clean up first. All right, so we are at the home stretch. I got uh, three slices of cucumber here. We'll take one of these turkey burgers right there. A little bit of this tzatziki sauce. A dollop will do you. You wanna know how much I'm using exactly? About 15 grams. And then I have some feta cheese. You can put a little bit on the salad and a little bit on the burger. That's about eight grams there. And let's put a little bit on the, uh, on the salad as well. Eight grams as well. And then we'll use two tablespoons of this dressing we made. You can even put some lettuce on it if you want. You can dice it up however you like. All right, but here he goes. Here's your Mediterranean turkey burger. Here's your Mediterranean salad. Are you ready to dig in for a taste test? We made eight servings, so this is gonna last roughly for one person, four days, or for two people, four days. Let's go in for their taste test. Get a little bit of that sauce on their burger. Mm, that is good. That burger is so daggone juicy. Mm, a little bit of the salad. Get a little bit of everything. Mm, mm. So good. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Meal Prep. I hope you like it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have suggestions, leave them in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. Hit that little bell notification so when I do upload, you are notified. Oh yeah, I have a new series going on right now. It's called the Battle Back Series. It's about me battling back my way to getting back to being fit and healthy. Not just fit for pictures, but fit for a healthy lifestyle. So be sure to check that out as well. I'm gonna be giving out a lot of helpful tips and I hope that you join me along the way and you do your own Battle Back Series as well. All right, folks, I'll see you next time. But remember to stay focused, stay positive, and keep it moving. See you in the next one. Good day, everybody.